Hello everybody and welcome once again to Lost Souls. Well, I'm running this episode straight after the last one with a few bits and pieces I've done in the meantime. So let's go and have a look at those to start with. The thing inside is to put this 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 torch, addiction torch here, brilliant. Well, I recommend that one because I'm still getting attacked by embers. So I've left these, well, I've put some more down here actually to be honest with you. And here, I basically put a, a set of hoppers all pointing around to each other, ending up in this one here. So I should be able to pick up all the stuff. There's nothing in those, and there's nothing flying around, but that's just sort of milling away. So let's go and make those. And of course, I wasn't sure whether that was going to work or not, but it's working just fine. It hasn't broken the, the gearboxes. And I finished removing all of the... Well, not quite, actually. <laughs> I'll remove them all on that side, anyway. All of that wall stuff. This thing rebel repels mobs, and it works really just nicely. In fact, I just got attacked by one of those purple mobs. Uh, an ember. And they're really difficult. They really do hit hard, and they tend to kill you straight away. But I actually survived. I managed to put a sp spike down, and it just went over the spike and got it eventually got it because I put the other spike down as well right all that said then let's get some of these made 16 we'll make four no it won't make enough we need 18 I think to make the next one let's look at this one made two so now we're up to six so we need another I just should be able to make some more and I'll run out of sticks huh in fact, we're actually probably running out of slabs. Let's take this. Let's use these slabs. They're just as effective as the other ones. Hopefully, they get used instead of the other ones. The siding is probably more valuable because I've got extra work to do to get those. Um, let's have another go. Recipe. That gives me another ten. I probably need two more. Let's if we got enough materials for two more. So that's another. I've got eight. I need nine more pieces of hemp fiber. I've got plenty good. Phew, it's I've finished now. Now it's got four to go. We'll leave those in there. In fact, I can collect these from here just simply holding down the right. Oh, I thought I could. <laughs> yep, yeah, I can. Just holding down the right must button, I'll just pick those up. So now, I should put those in there. I'll take out the breads. Got 55, I've actually got 65 now, which is not quite so good. So let's make these up again. Because what I'm going to do is make the, the vertical windmill, and then we'll start putting down the power. So we need a um, recipe for that one. We only need two. Let's just put two in there. And then the recipe for this one. Sure enough, that's great. Let's use the slabs up. So now the recipe for this one. One vertical windmill. And that has completed the quest. Even better. Let's go and have a look at that quest before I put it down. Quests. Better with mods. Yes. Vertical windmill complete. Loot chest done. Let's have a look at what the loot chest is. Vial of Vigor. Strength two Britannia for two for one and a half minutes. That's probably a very good reward actually. Was it uncommon? I didn't really notice. Oh look, they don't stack. So what have we got here now? This one. And what we do with this is we put the gearbox underneath it. I probably should make another gearbox. Let's do that. Before I do that, I sort another quest here. And that one. What's this? Oh, that'll be steel axles. Can't do that. Filter toppers we can do. Let's go and make a filter topper. It's very important this one because this is the next part of the stuff on here. Oh, actually, I actually think I've got that marked up on my thing anyway. So a filter topper is this. Can we do that? Yes, we can. One filter topper. And we got a, re we got a request for that. Let's do that one as well. We get XP as well. That's good. 
and I've got five XP. Let's open up this. And we've got some more fertile potion. Fact. I don't know how that actually works. I'll have to look it up when I. Now, what we do with this here, we have to basically put stuff into it. Now, I think. Yeah, because that makes these dusts here. Flint. Okay, sawdust. Got that. Should have no problem getting that. That and hellfire dust. Let's have a look at the recipe for hellfire dust. So we basically put ground netherrack, and we get into the filter with some soul sand, and we get a soul urn and some hellfire dust. Great, let's do that. Ground another rack. Got eight pieces of another rack here. Let's go and grind those up. <laughs> While those are grinding up, we'll make the next uh, gearbox. I think that's how to do it. Well, well. That was. Well, that is very loud. <laughs> No idea where it was. There you go. They're very loud and they're very, they seem to be very close. I could fill up this watering can, but I actually don't need it at the moment. I could even upgrade this watering can as well. Let's have a look. Bone mill. Invar. Well, I think we can do that. Let's have a go. Bone mill. So we're just missing three bone mill and we can actually upgrade this one. Then it is a 5x5 five five area, I think. So look at that one. Shift. 3x3, three three, yes. So let's set up uses of that one again and upgrade it. So we now get a watering can hardened. And that can does also does a 3x3. Three three. But I think there might be a control for that one. Let's go and have a look. Options, controls. I think that was thermal expansion, wasn't it? Maybe it's one of the ones I've removed. Not sure which one it is. Let me just have a check again. Oh, thermal cultivation. It says press none to adjust the area. And I didn't see any thermal cutter. Oh, I'll have, a look. I'll have to look it up anyway. So we can now fill this one up with water, and it should get up a lot more water in this one. What's its capacity? So the other one was four buckets, and this one's 15 buckets. Like that. So, right. I wanted to make a gearbox, didn't I? This one. Oh, yes, I need to make these. So we need some gold nuggets and some redstone. Let's do that over here. I see one, <laughs> one nugget of gold. I haven't been killing any zombie pigment for a while, so that's a. Uh, let's try that again. Yes, I'm only going to take. I'll take two. So now we can finish the gearbox off, but I probably not can't do it in that chest. Right, this one I'll probably do it over here. Let's do that over here. Okay, we'll make two gearboxes while we're here. And we'll put this down. Now I think we need axles. Did I have some axles with me? I've now got plenty of axles around. So if I can't see them. Oh, by the way, this mechanical miner is just a block breaker. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's just put it down here. And let's put in front of it some clay. Should break it. Ends up with three. 
Okay, I'd have got better if I'd broken it, but <laughs> crafted it. <laughs> oh, mind. So I think we need to put down. I'd like to have a bit of space, but maybe I don't need to have space. Let's put it down somewhere with some space. Hmm. Let's do this. I ain't sure where we got space. Let's just. I'd like to put it near the ship. But I don't know how big it is. But I'm going to have to put it down here, I think. Let's put it an axle down here. Oh, I need an axle. I need to, really do need to go make an axle. There should be some stuff in here. Let's do that as well. Soul sand. Now, do I need an urn? I can't remember if that threw one in or out. We'll find out in a second. Now, soul sand I've got plenty of. We'll just do it over here. Now, the danger with this thing, when you do this, is it will spawn ghasts. Now, gas can't survive in a, in a small area. So let's go and do it here. Now, this is three by three, isn't it? Let's just clear this out a little bit more over here. Keep the spike with me. Like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down. The filter topper. Like that. And then inside this we put the... I think I've got this right. Oops, missed. <laughs> um, shovel. I need a shovel. I think we just right click it on here actually, so I mis misdoed that one, didn't I? Let's try that. And I think then we just put the ground nether rack in here. And we right click it on here, don't Oh yes, now it's in. What we did then do is we throw this into here like this. Let Q. <laughs> Did I gain then? I've only got four. Oh, I've got four. Try that again. I thought I could just. I know what I'll try. Let's try dropping them. No, that didn't work. I think you've actually got to throw them in here. Oh! I gave me a shock. <laughs> the reason for that noise is there's a gas. But he ain't going to survive because it's too small a space for him. As you can hear. <laughs> it breaks the... Um... Oh, that's interesting. It breaks the other thing. I didn't realise that. So that's always a good idea. Make sure you do that when you do that as well. So what else? I know oh, that's it, isn't it? So I needed to go and... That would give me a real shock. <laughs> so you have to watch out for those gusts. Now we need some rope. I think we just make an axle. Um, it's six, isn't it, for axles? Like that. And then I think we just have so just two pieces of sticks above it and below it. Have I got any sticks in there? Should have. I can't see them. Come with oh let's just take a step from here. Oh they're in my inventory. Didn't 
Let's see it destroying. I think it sticks. I'm not 100 percent sure. No, it's not. What's the recipe for an axle? Um, is it blocks? Is it planks? Indeed, it is. It only gives me one, but one should be enough for what I want to do. Did I complete a quest when doing those? I've decided to put it over here, haven't I? Probably won't turn, but we'll see. Now, how do I get onto this thing? Let's just see if I can actually do it. I don't know. What it, I don't know how big it is. I've never done this before, so it's first time. Two fifty. Okay, you need seven. So we haven't got seven spaces above us. Okay. Now, where do I? Why haven't I got seven? I think we have got seven. It's probably this thing's in the way. Let's just get rid of this axe. Let's get rid of that as flat much as well. Now that should do it. Need seven. So what's in its way? I don't think these are in the way. The vines, I don't think they are. Could be. Tell you what, we could do is move it back a bit. Let's do that. Let's get the pickaxe here. And you'll notice be with the silk touch, we're getting the pickaxe as a. We're getting overgrown netherrack as a as an output or a drop let's just try that again let's put the gearbox that i don't know let's put the gearbox down here put an axe on top of it ah that ain't gonna work. I need to get this wrong way the other way around. Let's just get that the right way around anyway. Huh. Okay, it's not moving, so I have to turn it. And I haven't got my hammer with me, I don't think. Let's go and get the hammer. Well, that finished already, I don't need to worry about that. Uh, it'll be in here. It's my dumping chest at the moment where I put everything I don't need or not using at the moment. I really should take everything out. Still haven't got enough for that. <laughs> it's a lot of requirements. So, let's just turn this around. I think we can do that. Well, it looks like it's not the right way around, actually. There we go. That looks like the right way around. So we can put the windmill on top of it now. Oh, I need seven axles. Ah, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Right, let's go make some more axles. I should really read the message, shouldn't I? I think I th we've got enough for this. 33. So we need six axles. 36 is what I need. Um, probably short of a little bit. Five. So maybe we've got some more rope. Maybe we've got some more. Hemp grown. I, think I can go past that, I think. Not there. Oh, here, look. Now, 
Now I can plant some more of this. So I'm going to leave it for the time being. I'll put make some spaces out here, I think. Yeah, that'll give me the 15. What do we need? I've got three, so we basically need three more. So one piece will do. There we go. So that's that, and then we just need some wood. So now we've got our six axles. We need a way to get up here. Oh, I've got I've got some leather axles to do just fine. Maybe I could even stand on these, in fact, and put them down and start jump. Oops, nearly right. I suppose I can't get that one now, can I? <laughs> Thought that might happen. Oh, wrong one. So now I've got to get up and put that up. Okay, let's do that. Now I guess when I try to put this on here it's going to complain about it. Yes, so we need to go down now. So now can we put it on? Not enough room. Needs a nine mine area and a height of seven to work. Okay, well that basically means we need to go back one two three four five okay i just need to go back a little bit here let's just do that interesting did i pick up the vines because i've got because so i've got a silk touch on I'm not sure whether the vines would count as being in the way. Well, that should do in that area. One, two, three, four. Wax, don't I? We just need to come out here a bit more and go back that way. Okay, good. Now, is that five by five? I think so. We shall see. Let's try this again. <laughs> well, we got seven free, but I'm just wondering where the other bit's blocking it. I'm sure the ship's not in the way. Maybe it is. Well, we don't need the wings, do we? Let's get rid of these. An axe, that was a pickaxe. Or an axe, okay. Here we go again, let's try that. Well, I reckon it must be the um these which are problematic. Let's have a look. What have I got in my bag? I think I've got some clippers in my bag. Quartz clippers, they should do the job. Let's just check test those out. Yep, they do do the job nicely. So let's go up a bit. So 
So now we specify one, two, three, four, five. That should be nine. So that's no, should be no problem this direction. How am I going to figure this out? Let's put it in three. So one, two, three, four, five. That should be there. That's no problem. Nope, nothing in this area. That's fine. Well, it should be all right. So maybe it's these which are a problem. So let's go and put some, let's go and chop these down. Any others around that we need to cut? I think that's all right now. Let's go down again. I don't mind going up and down doing that anyway, because it's actually, <laughs> because it's getting me XP. That's it do. Need a seven by seven column. Ah, there we go. Whoa. So indeed it was just the uh, vines that were causing a problem. So we have actually got our vertical windmill. Let's have a look at that from a distance. Quite a spectacular piece of uh, equipment, but it took quite a lot to make. So I'm going to pick up these vines. I can walk through these things. That's quite funny as well. Boop! What? Uh oh. We have a mob. And we are actually in range. So let's have a look. Where's my sword? Uh oh, there he is. Look. The embers are still, what can I say, a pain. <laughs> Where is it? Out oh, there. So while he's coming to me, let's just eat. <laughs> Throw me up in the air. Oh, I'm stuck on this thing as well. Gosh. Let's get out of the way. I think it just, no, not hasn't died yet, but it can't go past. It's now stuck. So that's quite good because we can then attack this thing. And in fact, there we go. Eight, eight, ex excellent. And we've got some more body armor. What's that got on it? Jury. Okay, that's probably not bad. Now let's just get a sword out. There's another one. God. They're very persistent, aren't they? If I can get it, that is. They're really hard to... Tell you what, I might be even getting caught in my own spikes. <laughs> now it can't come in here and that's because of that thing it'll block it whether it's actually in the right place I don't know it'd be nice if it just took it a little bit back a bit sword so I've got a sword in my bag I don't think I have I need to make a sword I need some more defense to use that thing oh, I'll use a gold sword here look So I've got the other one of these. Let's put the other one down one row back. Because it can't get through here. Oh, it's gone. Where has it gone to? Okay. <laughs> it found its spike. Excellent. It's really strange, embers are still a problem. <laughs> that's broke that sword. They're not very durable, are they? So 
So, there we go. So what do I want to do now? I can remove this, of course, from here now. That, and use and put into this place here a dynamo. So let's do that, because we don't need this at the moment. We think we've done everything we need to this. I'll break that up later on. But I'd like to put the dynamo on here. Now, I ain't sure which is the best way, probably. I think we have to put the dynamo down first. I haven't got it with me, unless it's in the bag. No. Actually, let's go that bag out, because I want to put those into the bag. They're quite useful. I'll put the shovel in the bag as well. Now, the Hellfire Dust, is that not a quest reward? Let me just double check that because I'd like to do that before we before we finish as well. Um, ah, yes, that's right. I do remember now. It's part of the others. So we needed six of those. Sawdust. Well, we've got sawdust. Because we make because we've been chopping up stuff, haven't we? So we've got sawdust. And I'm not sure whether or not we need sawdust now. I'll tell you what I'll do. Quickly make some more sawdust. So before I break this thing down completely, we'll just do it like this. think that's it that should give me enough sawdust now the flint well I'm not sure how I'm getting flint from here but maybe there's a recipe for it how much sawdust do we have here six I think the quest was for six wasn't it oh 16 okay let's just chop up some more wood then it doesn't do any harm <laughs> planks Now, 12 plus these bits over here, 14, oop, what happened there, I walked, <laughs> you know, saws are dangerous, shouldn't walk in front of them. <laughs> uh, but I must have my 16 now, good, so flint. I thought we got a saw learned from that stuff as well, flint. That's if that's actually worked. Ah oh, yes, dust complete. So let's do those four. And claim that. We get two loot chests. I'll try to do this away from that. Rainbow lamps. I think the rainbow lamps are pretty interesting actually because they change colour but I'm not exactly sure what they're f we use them for. I have to look it up. And a mega torch. <laughs> At last I got a mega torch. Hey, oops, what are they doing over there? I'll tell you what I'm going to do with the mega torch. I'm going to put it down. I'm going to put it right down here at the front of the ship. Oh. Desiccated stone. I ain't sure what that does. I know we've got one here already, but... It might prevent some other mobs. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with those embers, or whether they're actually just excluded from the thing. Primal core. Okay. But I should check this doesn't break the gearbox. I'm not sure whether these are apply the same rules. To be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure how we're going to put a a chime on here either. Cuz they have to be one block up. 
But this is the actual windmill that's supposed to be the one for the nether anyway. This is awesome. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. Yeah, let's get this going. I wanted to go and collect those other bits. How much time have I done? 35 minutes. Quickly do it so we can get it up and get some power generated. Dynamo, kinetic dynamo. I've got that and that and an axe, that's good. I've got lots of bits of pieces in here, let's just get rid of these. Now normally what you have to do with this stuff is put the dynamo down first. So let's just take this off here, I think. Yeah. Axe, good. And I'll have to remove that axle. Oop! Oh, another ember, I'm sure of it. But it ain't so difficult to deal with. How much XP did I get? Nine. Oh, good. Let's do, uh, let's do some upgrading or upping of levels. Uh, 18 attack, I think, don't I? Not quite 18 attack. Let's do the defense one in that case. Eight. Because we need 16 defense to use those things. Oh look, my axle went in there. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. It may be possible to hang it up like that actually. I think there's another component we can use for these as well. Anyway, let's put the dynamo down here. And that's the front bit, and I think the front bit is where the windmill goes on to. Like that. And I think that'll start to generate power. Now we should be able to see if it's got power coming in. Power here. Zero RF. Mm hmm. Well, I reckon that should be working. What we can do is to, we can actually put capacitor down. Just do that, see if that actually works as well. So we've got um, a post, uh, good for putting the bits and pieces down. We've got some wall mounts. And where's the LV capacitor? And now I'm a bit chaotic at the moment, especially with my stuff here. We've got some wires. Okay, good. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. I don't need all of it. The bark goes in here. Put the string in here for the time being, because I've got some already in there. Put some flint in there. The vines can go in there too. And rope can go in there. These don't got these are not in the right places. But it doesn't matter for now. I'll just come back and fix, tidy it up between episodes. So I put them at the bottom. We can see what we're doing. So what did I need from in here? These two, and possibly the wire cutters, which I've got with me. Most of that can stay in there. I think good. See, there's definitely more mobs. Look at the mini map just behind me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this one down here like that while I'm working here. Let's keep them, keep them at bay. Oh, I need to do this from the other side, don't I? So I think we'll just put the. I can see it there. Look, it's at the top. We put this down like. Can I reach that? Ooh. Does it come out the top? <laughs> ah, yes, I think that's where the connector goes to.
like that. And let me connect that to something. Where am I going to put this connector? Maybe I can put one of these wall mount connectors up here like this. Yeah, I can. And then on top of that, I can put a relay. In fact, I can turn it upside down as well. So let's just turn it upside down. I'm supposed to be able to turn it upside down. We have to be slightly lower down to do that. Huh, can't do it from here. And to go down one block. Maybe here. Still turning the wrong way. I know there's a trick to this. Oh, I know what it is. Just put the relay on. I think the relay automatically puts it in the right place like that. <laughs> wrong. Try again. Okay. Not ideal. Can we actually connect a wire between these two? Connection is obstructed, of course it is. Look at those things there. I think this needs to be up higher. Let me break this off. And this one for that matter. Let's just see if I can put this up higher. It might not work here. I'm pretty sure it won't, but we'll just try it. Don't need that with me at the moment. Let's just try that down here. Oh yeah, that works. So now we should be able to connect the capacitor to this. Let's just do that. And that's the input, I think, because it's blue. So we need a so we need a connector on there. And then we should be able to connect these two together. And there, sure enough, it's working. We're getting power. So on that note, it looks like I'm falling off. I wish you all the best again. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.